Hello everybody, this is Xenocat83543 welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 New Game Plus Edition. Right, we're gonna head this way today and somehow manage to dodge everything. Nice. Now let's climb up here. I'm gonna try to get some work done on Adamine's Blade Quest. I believe Adamine's Blade Quest objective is up here. If I'm, rem if I'm remembering correctly. We have a bunch of side stuff opened up to us outside now, but... Making sure that Adamine is indeed set on Nia. I don't have to deal with the unique monster here. Oh, yes. That is such a relief. Treasure acquired. Hello, treasure chest. Thanks for that legendary core crystal after I'm never going to use it again, ever. Like, I'm never going to use that. I'm done bonding blades forever. Let's actually set that quest as a, as active. Oh, I need to have that one set. Hold on. Let's just check in with our Merc group, which just got back. Not have doubted us. So now we can have Mithra back. Yeah, I want to. I don't want to recall the blade from the Merc mission. I want to turn in the Merc, finish the Merc mission since they just returned. So we can have these common blades actually get stuff. We're done more it in. I'm going to prioritize this one. Okay, understood. Hey, people outside, could you stop being rude and honking? That'd be nice. Oh, um, people are going to be rude. Oh, stress shield hammer, where? There you are, Madoka. Yeah, you guys, get that done. I'm prioritizing that one because it's the one that's required for Gorg's blade quest. Right, I need to... Don't need you anymore, I need you, Mithra. If they seek a fight, they shall get one. Can you get me in this room? No. Because as soon as I walk into the room, a cutscene starts because I have Mithra in my party now. She's in her own little world. Classic Adenine. Jeez. Well, we got Adenine to the end of her blade quest. Stop running off by yourself. Hold up, Nia. Huh? There's something inside the room. Yeah, those things. Yeah. 
Those things summon other things. An enemy. It would appear to be the room's guardian. Adenine, it's not safe in there. Save your breath. She's not listening. Bad news. I'm going for Adenine. Adenine, run. Stop the shouting. Can't you see you're breaking my concentration? What? How dare you come in here and interfere with my research? I was just getting to the good bits, too. You're not going to put a damper on my curiosity and studiousness. That's a promise. Understood? Get the picture? Shut up and let me work. We probably shouldn't let Adenine have all the fun. Let's get in there and help, Rex. I think this will still be easy. Yeah, we're like 10 levels above them. We're gonna do a chain attack so we overkill it. In a chain attack. Yeah, it was like about to die. I just wanna get the Poppy Buster stuff. Alma, shred it. Bye, Howl Sentry. Seriously, I thought we were done for a moment there. Hey, Adenine. Uh, suddenly I'm more afraid of her than those monsters. So, Adenine, will you be able to make use of this ancient wisdom? This room is like a witness to the ancient sophistication. There's all sorts of mind-blowing information stored here. It's a wondrous treasure trove of knowledge. 
I'm so very, very glad we all came here. Oh, it's overwhelming. I might faint. Um, anything we can use, like, right now? Nope. Nope. Deciphering the tomes? And then that tablet-like device as well? All of that took considerable time as it is. But it was enough on child's play compared to the stuff in here. If I wanted to crack all of this, it'd take a thousand years. That is a long time. All you drivers would have to find a way to stay alive for me for all that time. Dora think that unlikely. Ah. Classic adenine. No kidding. And there's limits of awareness. And Droka got better. Interesting. She got that one. Hmm. I'll show you this one. How close are you to that? Jeez, we only need five more. Come on, Akos. You need to get up there and trust. I've got news, but of course you're back, Ursula. <laughs> Well, this will be good for support. The one blade that had something left to do finished their thing. Everyone's counting on me. I gotta step it up. I'll be the other one. No Take them all out again. You just gotta get them up to C rank, and then they'll be going off. And then you can have different blades on your mission. On your mission. And we finished Limits of Awareness. Jeez. You just leave it to me. I'll use my just gonna to put, put Adenine pieces. back on. And now I think we can... I believe we can, at, at, like, at this point, we can check here for our last blade. At the very least, we have some side quests open to us, I think. No slacking off. Seriously, when does this guy show up? Or is he, like, outside? I think I missed you before. I have no idea when he shows up, but I'm pretty sure we have some more quests to do. Isn't there something we can do in Moradane now? I feel like there's a quest at the dock area. 
or in town or something. Keep a close eye out for trouble. Uh, we going somewhere next? Go. No slacking off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is there a, like, when does this quest open up? Because I remember they're doing this one. Yeah, it is down at Port Down again. Oh, it's later. It's, and thinking of something that happens a little bit later. Or mind then. We should do some heart to hearts though. So let's go take care of the two in Fawn set. A pretty long way, hey? No slacking off. You have a merc mission. Wow. Well, Pyra, did you manage to talk to them? I did. We had a pleasant chat. What did you talk about? Everything that's happened since I met you. And I told them not to worry, because I'm going to do everything in my power to look after you. I'm sorry, what? I can look after myself, thank you very much. I think not. If you go off on your own, you'll just get yourself into trouble. <laughs> Already bickering like you're a married couple, eh? Hey, cramps. Couple? But really, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it was just a joke. Besides, you have to have that sort of metal to deal with, Rex. Come on, Azurda. Cut it out. Anyhow, we've done what we have to here, right? Time we should be getting back. Oh, we're leaving already? Can't we talk for a little more? Oh, we can do that when we get back, can't we? That's true. But the two of us rarely get the opportunity to talk alone like this. I'm not sure you can say alone when we've got Gramps tugging along. Hey, this old fogey getting in the way. You want me to shove off? No one's telling you to shove off, Azurda. Stop being such a child. <laughs> Youth is a beautiful thing. All right. What was it you wanted to talk about? Yeah? I've been sending money back pretty much ever since I left the village to set off to become a salvager. I mean, take a look around. There's nothing here. Trade with other countries doesn't really cut it. And being self-sufficient only goes so far. What I had is a pittance, but it's better than nothing, I think. But it can't be easy for you, either. Living the way you do, you shouldn't push yourself so hard. Hmm, I guess. But I can't really leave my family out in the lurch, either. Your family? You mean the villagers? That's right. Everyone in the village is like family to me. I'll do everything in my power to help them. They're all very grateful to Rex for his work. Never thought a mischievous brat like you would grow some backbone. Who are you calling a brat? <laughs> what? What's so funny? Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I just couldn't help but admire your way of thinking. I'd love to have a family as big as yours, Rex. 
What are you talking about, Pyro? You're already part of the family. So can we take this as a confession of love? Very bold of you to do so in front of your parents, my boy. What? Rex, hold on a second. N no, that's not what I was trying to say. You, Mia, Morag, Zeke, and Toritu, all of you, you're all family to me. So there's no reason to feel sad or lonely. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so much for the boy having backbone. Sorry, Pyra. This one's going to be hard work. <laughs> well, that's all right. I've got a surprising amount of patience. Oi, what are you two going on about? Jeez. Yay. By the grave side. Another heart to heart done. We're just going to charge off in this direction now. Because we have another heart to heart to view over here. Hey, you've gathered a pretty good bunch of firewood there. We should be able to cook some pretty tasty rice with this. Cook rice? Well, yeah. That's why I asked you to gather firewood and find me a place for a campfire. And what's all this rice cooking for? What do you think it's for, genius? To eat, of course. Hey, Akos, you got everything ready? Yes, yes, I have the equipment, the spices, and the scripts right here. Huh? Wait, is Akos doing the cooking? What about you, Petroka? <laughs> I'm here for the eating. Right, of course you are. Why did I even ask? There's no point expecting my sister to be able to cook. Outside of weapon collecting and tidying up, she has no skills whatsoever. Shut up, you. Less mouthing off and more rice cooking. Yes, <laughs> yes. Why must I be cursed with such a domineering sister? Though some would say that's her best quality. So we're it's having just rice? Thing. That's it? Good point. Rice on its own is hardly a proper meal. Oh, Mithra. You're such a child sometimes. Akos, have you got the you-know-what? But of course, right here. Oh, yes! This is what I'm talking about. Pickle to perfection. What are these things? Pickled plums! Pickled what? Never heard of them. Are they for eating? They are a kind of fruit soaked over time in a saline solution. What we do? is we wrap them up in the sticky rice and make rice balls. When the rice is freshly cooked, they taste amazing. Rice balls I've heard of, but are these shriveled things really edible? Trust me, they're good. Want to try one? Ew, it's all soft and squishy. Ugh, that's sour. Water, give me some water, quick. <laughs> oh dear. What are these things? Are you sure they're meant to be edible? Are you trying to poison me? <laughs> no, they're not poisonous. As it happens, they are rather healthy. They have antibacterial properties. Hmm. Am I really the only one who appreciates the finer tastes in life? Freshly cooked rice balls with pickled plums under the open sky. What could be better? How about you, driver? You'll have one, right? Petroka's predilections. Oh my gosh. I've got news, but will you hear it? Great work. Here's what we've got. Well met. Everyone's counting on me. I gotta step it up. Okay, Ursula, try this again. Um, I think that's going to do it for this part. We got some hearts to hearts done out here at least. Including one with some new blades, which is always exciting. Next time we're going to head back to the world tree. Climb up it a bit more. You know, all the standard stuff. Going through the plot a little bit. <sighs> we'll see you then.